Second, what's the house of God? So when Jesus was walking the earth, the house of God was in the temple in the Holy of Holies. But the temple was destroyed in A.D. 70 by the Romans. So that's not the house of God. And it's certainly not this building that you've come to today to worship. So what's the house of God? You are. If you're a Christian, you are the house of God. From the time of Moses until Pentecost after Jesus was crucified and risen from the dead, the house of God where God was located was a place that He chose. In Moses' day, it was the ark of God inside of a tent. When Solomon built the first temple, it was the temple inside the Holy of Holies. When they started rebuilding the temple in 20 B.C., it became the Holy of Holies inside of that temple. But at the time that Christ was crucified and raised from the dead, and when the disciples and followers of Jesus were in the upper room and the Holy Spirit came at Pentecost, the Holy Spirit dwelled in the hearts of believers. And we are the temple. Paul warns Christians in Corinth to live like they are called to live by God. And he says this, 1 Corinthians 3, 16 and 17. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells within you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him. For God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Now I've heard many sermons on this where pastors would say that believer, you are God's temple, so don't smoke, don't drink too much, don't eat too much, and because you are God's temple and you are to keep it holy and healthy. And you know what? That's true. But that's not the point that Paul's making here. What Paul is saying in this passage to the church in Corinth is that Because you are God's temple, what you are building by what you do on the foundation of Jesus Christ needs to be holy. The things that you do, the way that you live, the things that you believe are how you build your temple. And so keep it holy and set apart for the Lord. 